university has no application fee it is has it has so many programs that will benefit you i want you to take time and just go through this video with me this university has scholarship and in fact all the admitted students to this university get automatic scholarship of between 20,000 to 29,000 US dollars. This university is a wonderful university. It has acceptance rate of 78%. This means that when you apply to this particular university, you stand a chance of getting uh, to this university 78 percent i don't know how to explain it because i know universities like harvard yale and all that has less than 10 percent this one has a uh, 78 percent chance of you getting into this university what i'm going to share with you is how to get to the programs how to get the admission fee uh, waived uh, so that you can apply for free how to get scholarships and what are the you know whether they require you to do test, uh, test, uh, um, whether it's test optionals or they require you to do the test optionals. This university is really, it's very acceptable and very um, accommodating to both uh, international students and also students who are here in the U.S. This university is based in the U.S. as you can. <laughs> uh, it's based in the U.S. So let's go straight into the university. So I'm going to use my laptop to just take you through um, the steps and how to go about it. So the university we are talking today about is Moravian University. Uh, when you go to the web, how to go about it, you just uh, go to your laptop, Google Moravian. It's a private university and it said it's in Bethlehem. Let's go straight into, uh, want us to go very straight into what programs they provide. So when you click on the website, go into the courses and programs. They have accounting, African Studies, Anthropology, Art, Biochemistry, Biology, Chemistry, Communication and Media Studies, Computer Science, Dance, Early Childhood Education, Economics, Teacher Certification, English, Environmental Policy, Environment Science, Ethics, Finance, French, um, those want to do German, those want to do languages, they have it here, those want to do Health Sciences, let me see what kind of health sciences they have. They have various programs under health sciences, historical studies, history, indigenous studies, informatics, international management. Those who want to do international studies, they have a program there, management, marketing analysis, marketing management, mathematics, medieval studies, music. Those who want to do nursing at the undergraduate level. Here they have this program, they have neuroscience. Uh, they have peace and justice studies, philosophy, photography, physics, political science, um, psychology, pre-professional advising, I don't know which one that is, they have law, pre-professional advising law, psychology, public health, sociology, Spanish, Sp um, Spanish for health professionals, theatre, and then those who are undecided also you have your section there there's women gender and sexuality studies among others so this is undergraduate so if you are just from high school and you're wondering where to proceed to do your studies moravian university should be your friend now let's check on their graduate studies this is undergraduate let's check on graduate studies so undergraduate let's see so undergraduate, they have programs, they have business, those who are interested in the business program, you should check on this. So they have business, they have education, nursing, um, rehabilitation, uh, art, behavioral health, <laughs> they have degree, uh, so they have seminary program, among others. So you choose, you click, this is just sub subfield undergraduate so if you're interested in business just click on it and you you see what what kind of business they have uh where various areas of business they have masters of masters in business administration they have mba both online and in campus supply chain management they have certificates healthcare so you check on which program best fits you now let's go to whether this university has scholarship because i know getting funding 
sure university is very very expensive so i just want us to go to explore financial aid okay so when you go to this um when you go to the website you just check on the merit-based financial aid so i'm here i'm the all this information check in the video description i have put all these links so that you can make reference to them and again i would advise Anything I post here, I'm posting it out of research what's on the website. If you want further clarification and you know more information, please reach out to the admissions. They have the best knowledge. Uh, mine is just to share this information for you because I wish somebody did this for me. If you're meeting me for the very first time, my name is Sheila Atieno Vantigraf. I am here in the US currently doing my second master's in international development. I am also on full scholarship. So I'm good. that's why I'm always very keen about scholarship. I'm also doing, uh, I've said I'm doing my second master's here in the US. I'm hopefully progressing to do my PhD, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm also a research assistant, that means that I work part-time as I do my studies. And I also run a non-profit organization back in Africa. So mine is just to give back to the society. And I'm now going to take you to the scholarship. So if you're meeting me for the very first time, thank you so much for coming into my channel. Please take a second and subscribe to my channel. The reason being, a lot of this content I share, some of them are have deadlines. So uh, if you can join this family, you'll be getting this information up like almost immediately click on the uh, notification bell so that you are alerted every time i post it will really be it will really make your work easy and you can we can engage and interact further okay so please take time to subscribe like share with me on the comments if you've already applied if you're interacting with me for the very first time share with me some of the challenges you're experiencing i always try as much as possible to comment to respond to your comments on the website like this so that there are uh, uh, so that it can reach as many people as possible okay so let's go back <laughs> so merit scholarship uh this university as uh, i mentioned the moment you get uh admitted to this university you automatically there are people who will be selected actually let me read i don't want to paraphrase what they i don't want to misquote or mislead it's written here merit scholarship for first year students more Moravian University awards scholarships to incoming first-year students based on their academic performance in high school and demonstrated involvement in school and community activities. Students here, students are automatically considered for a scholarship upon the review of the application for admissions. So upon the review, you automatically get scholarship into this university. It is written here in the website. I'm not coming up with my own words, okay? So academic scholarship can range between um, 20,000 to 29,000 and are 20,000 $20, dollars to 29,000 and are awarded regardless of financial need. So this is automatic. You get this amount of money, automatic, okay? So these scholarships are renewable at the same amount each year, provided students maintain continuous full-time enrollment and satisfactory ac academic progress. The presidential scholars must also maintain 3.2 GPO, GPA. So this one you've interacted with before. Uh, one thing I'd request is that you can reach out to the admissions and ask them if you qualify from wherever you are applying for whether you are applying from here in the u.s or you are applying from outside the country this scholarship you, you, you should be able to reach out to them and just confirm but it's written in the website here once you get admitted you automatically qualify so they have other other scholarship the legacy grant sibling grant and all that said scholarship and you know then you can another thing i always tell people is that you can reach out to the admissions office whatever programs you're applying to, okay? Especially for undergraduate. This was undergraduate scholarship. If you are reaching out to the, if you're applying to this, maybe you're applying to the School of Business, reach out to the School of Business and ask them if they have any scholarship opportunity available, okay? Because some of those scholarships are not provided out there for everyone to know. So reach out to them and just get to know if they have any particular scholarship with that nature. Okay, so 
I know many of you are waiting for the big reveal. There is no big reveal. It's just indicated here that this, uh, for those who are applying, especially undergraduate, it's written first year applications. And you are considered first year student if you are currently in high school or you have graduated with, with a GED or high school diploma, but not yet enrolled in a degree seeking. We look forward to welcoming you, okay? Then, wondering which application to use, they have different types of application. They can use, you can use Moravian application or you can use the common application, common application. So you just click on it, I'll show you. Then, um, so it's written here, the best part of applying to this university is that it has no application fee. So it is free to apply if you're a first year undergraduate, it is free to apply. That's good news. So how do you apply? What do they need? Let me take you through what they need. Application checklist. First of all, you have to complete the application form that I'll just click and we see how it looks like. Then you, you have to submit your official high school transcripts. You share with them. Once available, submit, it, submit your official transcripts. You do not need to submit transcripts. So they've said you do not need to submit your transcripts at the same time as your application. This can be done after submission. So you don't have to get official. I know there are some people who just finished their high school and they don't have the official transcripts. Don't worry. You can send this later on after submitting your, after having your submission, um, application submitted. And then, so you hear the indicated checklist. Um, or finish your application, official uh, high school transcripts, then subject matter, they just need to see whether you did English, mathematics, uh, social sciences, uh, foreign languages, if you have, I know people where from various parts of the world, English is our second language, so that's a plus, then at least natural sciences, um, then they mentioned here, which is very good, standardized test scores is optional. So you don't have to apply, you don't have to submit your SAT, um, SATs, ACTs and all that. It is free to submit, um, it is free to, for you to submit your, it is not free to, you to submit, you don't need to do the test optional, oh my goodness. Recommendation, they need at least one letter only one letter for you to recommend and they, they say this could be from your high school counselor principal another it's like your living certificate or something like that so only one you don't need to submit a lot then they have ESA and ESA is an opportunity for the ESA program special program requirements there are those who are, want to do nothing major or you want to do arts major or music major there are some things that might be required for you to submit so important uh, dates and deadline that's why i was saying most of my videos have deadlines so it is good to subscribe and like <laughs> and join the family and click on the notification bell so that whenever i post you get to know this so this one early decision the deadline was on november but it has passed uh, then um, early decision has passed but then there's the regular decision which is 15th of march so you still have time to apply to this university okay so tips reach out to the admissions uh, ask them for the admi uh, scholarship and uh, just let them know where you're applying from so that they can advise you further this is for undergraduate for graduate level they also have various programs but for the graduate le levels they did not indicate where the application fee is is waived but I think it is free also for the graduate level what you can do just email the graduate level, the program you are applying to, and let them know that in the website, it is indicated the application is free. You will check on the link, I'm going, to, uh, it's actually on the video, and ask them if it's also free for the graduates, you know? And once they, they, they let you know that it's free, then you can go ahead and apply, and again, comment whether uh, there's anything you would want me to share further comment on which program you are applying to where you're watching me from it's always nice to hear i'm watching you from this country i'm watching you from this country guys please let me know where you're watching me from and it's just exciting to see um the impact that 
this this channel is creating i've had so many people already getting good news so i'm so excited <laughs> hopefully we can get interact on one-on-one -on -one. when you come to the u.s please make sure you reach out to me <laughs> thank you guys and thanks for subscribing to my channel thanks for following me out thanks for liking and thanks for being part of this community and i wish you the very best of luck <laughs>